Good morning, welcome, or well, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. And on today's edition, I am doing part two of The Price is Right. Who's gonna be my contestant? Danny J, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. This is my son, Danny. <laughs> Danny had three hours sleep last night and I just pulled him out of bed so you'll have to excuse his bright eyed and bushy tailed demeanor we're gonna be real quick just like I did with my other son I have three handbags here and I have four cards with prices just so the record I'm not usually this quiet <laughs> 1800 and Forty-seven dollars, eighteen forty-seven. Showing up backwards, uh, I don't no, know. No, it's not. Know. It's fine. It's fine. I just want to make sure. It's fine. You might have some dyslexic viewers. So you no, have to be careful. Stop. Nine hundred and ninety. Two hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Five hundred and fifty-four dollars. And if you get even one correct. You can win this fabulous prize. Piece of paper? A little peek in there. Oh, money. This oh, okay. can be yours. Sense. If the price is right. So wait, like, if I guess the price right, will I get the money that, like, the price is on here? No. Oh. So it's the <laughs> ripple, then. Okay, again, let's go through it one more time. No, we'll do it quickly. Okay, we're going to start with this lovely little Burberry bag. It's called the Burberry Cube. It has Burberry signature canvas. The rest is leather. It has a leather strap. Hmm. You know... And usually I would just say like the design itself would make it go down in value. But just because it's Burberry, I feel like the value has to be up over 500 bucks at the very least. So. I mean, they have scarves that are probably more than that big, and the scarves are probably like around 600, 700 bucks. So I'm going to have to go with uh, maybe the 990 for that one. He chooses 990 for the Burberry. We're going to put that over there. For I had all a conversation of you out with there. somebody who worked in Burberry before, and they no. told me why it's so expensive. Okay, it's all right. The brand. You said you want this to be done in 10 minutes. You want to go on and on and discuss Burberry? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, you know, like, <laughs> next one to teach, too, right? Like, it's not just about entertainment. It's about learning. Okay, Mr. Engineer. Next bag, this beautiful white leather bag with gold hardware from... Michael Kors, all leather, gold hardware, adjustable strap, but it's not detachable. I don't remember the name of it, but it's Michael Kors. Hmm. So what's left is 1847, 258, or 554. Well, if you want me to be honest, I feel like it's probably cheaper than all of like the options you gave me because this leather right here, like this tumble leather, like it kind of reminds me. That's leather. Well, excuse my French, <laughs> but I was gonna say this is like the same material that was like on the True Blue series, like the Air Jordan Retro series. So I'm assuming that like it was made in China and that like it probably took maybe two cents to produce this. So. I'm gonna be generous here though, and I'm gonna do 554 because like just for shock value. He's guessing 554 for the Michael Kors mini bucket bag. It's probably cheaper than everything you just gave me though. And last but not least, this is my extra small keepall by Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. But I got it on Fashion File, which is a pre-owned site. So it was technically considered a used bag. Louis Vuitton. It's canvas. Um, it has leather trim, a no. leather strap, and silver hardware. I think if somebody paid me to buy it, like I'd probably take the money and not buy it. Okay. 
We have 1847 left and we have 258 left. If anybody's paying over like 200 bucks for this bag, then I really don't even know what to tell them anymore because this bag right here, like, first off, it's the ugliest one that you presented to me so far. This is not ugly. This is my favorite bag in my whole collection. What's your price choice? Louis Vuitton. Uh, I 1847 mean, or 258 maybe, unless... Maybe the bag has a good personality, but it's not that good looking. I'm sorry to say. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to change any of your prices? Or do you want to pick which one this is from the two left? 1847, 1847, or 258 dollars hmm. for this beautiful. I feel like you're trying to throw a curveball at me. You know what? I'm gonna go with the 1800 because uh, what do I know? And plus it's Louis Vuitton too, so sometimes it doesn't shock me. He chooses 1847 for the extra small key ball Louis Vuitton. So, guys out there in YouTube land, do you think he made correct choices? We're going to start with the Louis Vuitton. Is he right out there? Ding, 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 ding. You are correct. This bag on Fashion File, Louis Vuitton, cost me $1,847. We really need to upgrade some sound effects for you so you never have to make a sound like that ever okay. again. <laughs> Next, the mini Michael Kors bag. He chose 554. Is he correct? Eh. Michael Kors, this bag was in Macy's Retail price is two fifty eight, but I only paid one hundred and fourteen because it was on sale. Oh, so then you were just trying to give me the wrong answer, regardless, because all of the options are incorrect, and I should get disqualified for that. No, I mean you should get disqualified for that. If anything, I this, should get the money in, like consensusly. This is my game show, and last but not least, the Burberry Cube. My favorite one. He picked nine hundred and ninety. Is he correct? Ding, 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 ding. You are correct. This was bought in Neiman Marcus about two years ago for $990. It's my favorite one. It's the only one that actually has like an aesthetic value. You it. got two out of three. That's not bad. You get this beautiful prize worth $5. And it's yours. You can buy yourself a cup of coffee. Yeah, I'm probably going to need that, too, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, bad. thank you for being a wonderful, lovely, beautiful, interactive guest on my show. No problem. Give me a hug, and you can get your coffee. Love you. Thank yeah, you. I'm here in the video, but mentally I'm not. Okay, good night. You can go back to sleep. Thank you. So guys, that was my son Danny. Hope you enjoyed my part two of The Price is Right. And the sun is moving, so I have to move. I'm just gonna do a real quick update from yesterday. I used my Versace Le Medusa all day yesterday. I loved it, it holds everything, it's fantastic. I'm not gonna do a full review, but I will tell you one thing about this bag, and I bet they're all made the same. The um, clip here comes out very far, if you can see that. And this top right here, it kind of grabs it because the handle's attached to the top of the bag. The handle's attached to the top of the bag, so if this does not close, Securely, when you grab it, you're going to grab your bag like this and the top is going to be flopping up and down. So that's why they made such a secure um, closure. And it works really, really well. I have everything in here, including a full my full YSL key holder. I have my zippy wallet. I have my lipstick case, my bougie Amazon lipstick case. I have my mini readers. I have my little pouch with hand sanitizer. 
everything. It carries everything. This might even carry a full-size wallet, you know, the long, like, 7x4 wallets. So, I just wanted to show you quickly that I used one of my bags that I haven't used, and I will continue to do so. Next week, I will pick another one of those bags from my recent video on the seven bags that I don't, haven't worn at all. And I will be wearing them moving forward because I have to. I bought them, I paid for them, I need to use them. Moving over. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Wait, let me bring you closer. Thank you so much for joining me again and joining me and my son on this great, uh, edition of The Price is Right. I will see you guys next week. And don't forget to tune in next Saturday, January 21st, is a great collab with Yoda from Yoda Style, Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, Eva from Fuchsia Floyd, and Winnie from Winnie BLV. And I will link all their channels down below, just because. Have a great Monday. See you next week.